Greetings from my clinic. In this episode, I'll be talking about age-related macular degeneration or ARMD. This has been earlier called as spinal macular degeneration. This is a condition where in the retina, abnormal scarring and blood vessels start to grow behind the retina, at the, particularly at the center of the retina, which is known as the macula. This can cause reduction in vision and if left untreated, can lead to very profound loss of vision. The macula or the centre part of the retina is the one that is responsible for clarity of vision. So the side of the retina gives rise to an um, evaluation or one can make out what's occurring in the periphery of the field of vision where objects that are moving are caught on. But the fine vision where we read, write or look at any movie or look at anybody's face and recognize the person that occurs in the centre of the retina known as the macula. So this is the macular degeneration that can occur due to age. Most commonly, it's seen in persons after the age of 60, 65 or even later, 70, 75. There is no particular reason for this uh, particular disorder to occur. It usually occurs without any reason. Sometimes it's genetically inherited. Activities such as smoking or alcohol consumption can worsen this condition or even predispose to it. It's a very slow process where the patient normally notices slight distortion in vision, where straight lines appear wavy, or crisscross lines appear stretched or altered. If left untreated at this particular stage and is not noticed, it can lead on to bleeding under the retina, then go in for scar tissue formation, and the vision can be permanently lost. Treatment here is very, very simple and pretty easy. Today, diagnosis of ARMD is very, very easy because we have now OCT, which is an ocular coherent tomography, which works almost like a CT scan, but uses light instead of X-ray, and make slices of the eye tissue to evaluate the retina in detail. You can actually look at the retina as though we are looking at a sliced retina and you can see through all the layers. We can identify abnormal blood vessels under the retina and this can be treated very easily by what we know now we call as intravitreal anti vegas injection. The drug used is usually razumabap, just a small amount, 0.1 ml is injected into the vitreous cavity and this can be completely reversed in the early stages and maintained. Some people need multiple injections of this. An injection, the effect may last one or up to three months. In some people, one or two injections are enough, and others, multiple injections are necessary over a period of time. But with early diagnosis, one can easily control this uh, disorder and prevent loss of it. This type of uh, macular degeneration, where there's abnormal blood vessels and bleeding and scarring, is known as the wet type of macular degeneration. In some conditions, the retina starts to dysfunction without any abnormal blood vessels or any kind of scarring. This is known as dry ARMD, which may not cause as much profound loss of vision, but unfortunately that is only treatable by giving vitamins as medicine, but anti vegetative injections will not be very useful in this condition. How do we now find this out? The primary issue is that anybody over 60 should get their eye examined every year. If one notices any drop in vision, or particularly any distortion, when the lines that are supposed to be straight appear wavy, go see the doctor immediately. Sometimes the symptom would be a black dot in the central vision. We call this a positive scotoma. Once you notice that, immediately go to the doctor and get it tested. Earlier, one of the uh, tests to diagnose this condition was known as FSA, which is fluorescent angiography, where a dye would be injected in the vein in the arm, and this dye circulates in the blood vessels, and it reaches the eye blood vessels, the retina, and then a photograph is taken to delineate abnormal vessels. Today, one need not do that. We have now OCT, which can go look at the blood vessels without putting any dye, making the diagnosis very simple and very easy and fast. And also, follow-up becomes very easy. So, what do we do to prevent this? There are some thought processes that when we take certain vitamins, and particularly green leafy vegetables and fruits that have the yellow color, that can prevent the onset of macular degeneration. So right from the age of 40 or 45, one should add these to the diet. And there are the, the vitamin tablets available, particularly for macular degeneration. And these should be taken as a routine right from the age of 45 or 50, so we can prevent this from occurring. If you have any doubts about this topic on ARMD, write to us in our inbox and we'll get back to you.